Foley. 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 Previously on Go. SAS Australia. You two, useless. As the pressure ramped up. Go. Go. Oh my oh. God. Determination. Everything that you've got now. Triumph. She is incredible. Outstanding. Hold up. Why you two forks? But Paulie's mistakes. <sighs> You're all going to suffer. Sparked anger. How hard is it? Take it easy, Rihanna. Amongst the group. Apologize and do yes. again. If it happens again, hand your number in. Tonight. Oh my God! That is a casualty! The brutal course <laughs> shows no mercy. We don't want to see you smash it. We want to see you not give up. Which recruits? Ah, Buckle. Oh, I can't get out. Quick, oh, just towards the end. And the heart-stopping moment. A hostage rescue. Take it outside. Takes a turn for the worse. Oh, Doc. <coughs> oh, shit. really starting to feel like a home, you know? <laughs> of the nine recruits remaining in the final days of SAS selection, five are female. The girls are outnumbering the guys. Well, kudos to the girls. <laughs> I'm not your standard stereotypical female boxer. You know, everyone expects a female boxer to be rough and be masculine, but I'm known for being the girl that weighs in in lingerie. I'm pretty popular for that. I like to look really sexy while I box, but just because I like to embrace my femininity doesn't mean that I can't fight. We've just got in like a really good groove with the girls. <laughs> no offense, boys. <laughs> as that little girl who always wanted to play footy and pursue it as a career, I know what I can achieve if I do put my mind to something. So I will feel so disappointed in myself if I don't get through this course. Boys, well done for sticking with us, guys, you know, yeah. like, you know, for keeping up with the girls. You've done really well. <laughs> People would probably know me if they follow motorsport. The last sort of 10 or so years, I've worked running up and down the pit lane and chasing drivers for interviews when they least like to have interviews done. When I first entered working within the motorsport industry, I was told by people that I wouldn't make it because young girls don't work in motorsport um, and that set me on a pretty determined path to ensure that I did make a career out of it. On me, let's go! Go, go! I wanted to be known as someone who knew what they were talking about and weren't just a token female in that situation and I ensured that, and I still ensure that I'm always working hard and prepared for the job. With another unpredictable day ahead. Straight into double time. The recruits are led deep into nearby bushland. Come on, come on! To face one of the most harrowing exercises in Special Forces training. In the Special Forces, courage is forced upon you. You will be in a fearful situation multiple times on a mission. Let's move! When you're face to face with the enemy, it is a split decision to commit to courage. Come on, let's go, let's go! Trust yourself, control your fears and move forward. Right, listen in. Courage is the control of fear. Courage is the moment you throw yourself into any situation without a guaranteed successful outcome. There's a bag in front of you. You'll remove your clothing. You'll put on what is in the bag. Go! Come on, let's go, let's go! You have 60 seconds to be stood up behind your bags, coveralls on, numbers on, plimsolls on, respirators in your left hand. Inside a container filled with noxious tear gas, each recruit will be exposed to the searing pain as their mask is removed. Needing to control shock and fear, they're to free a bound hostage using the right tool before exiting the building. Come on, let's get a shift on. Dia Stoddy is inside the container to oversee the rescue attempt with Chief Medic 
Dr. Dan close by. Number five. First to face the test of courage is Olympic swimming legend Jeff Hugel. Towards me, let's go! Courage is something that I've been brought up with. Faster, number five. I got my courage from my mum. The way she looks at things, failing is not an option. And I'm so grateful to have learnt from that on a daily basis. Come here, closer, 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 right. Listen, there's a hostage in that container right there. OK, that hostage must be evacuated at all costs. Yes, sir. Do not run in like a headless chicken, because you will regret it. When you get in there, situation awareness. Yes, sir. Try and figure out as much as you can before you dive in. Put the pieces together and get the job done. Yes, sir. Put your respirator on. Tear gas burns. So it burns your eyes, it burns your nose, it burns your lungs. It's almost as if you're on fire from the inside out. And you go. But unfortunately, it's a common situation that we, as Special Forces operators, find ourselves in. Hey, come in on five. Hey, I got the mission. Identify the hot. Make a quick ground assessment. Have a look around. What are you going to do? Oh. Oh. No, get him out of here. <coughs> Hurry up, number five. <coughs> Tear gas shuts down the body. <coughs> the moment you take that first breath in, your body closes up. You're completely disabled. It's horrible. Oh. <coughs> number five, what are you doing? What are you doing? The plastic up. Break his wrist. Say, <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Suffering the excruciating effect of the gas. Jeff searches for a tool to free the hostage. I am number five. Quick as you can. Oh, I'm number five. Quick as you can. But as the gas seeps deeper into his lungs and his breathing becomes laboured. <laughs> Diastoni terminates the mission. Come here, compose yourself. What happened? Do not spit on me. What happened? I could not do the clips. What do you need to do? Cut the cable. Get him out. Do you know where the clippers are? On the back table. Right, so you know what you need to do. What do you want to do? Do you want to go back in and get him? Or do you think that if you went back in there, that you would be a casualty yourself. Evand deems them fit. The recruits are offered a second rescue attempt. Uh, I know where he is. Yeah. I know where the, where the clippers are. Yeah. If I have to go back in and get him, I'll get him. Let's do it. <sighs> Summoning his courage, Jeff re-enters the poisonous container. Crazy can number five, let's go down. Let's get him. <sighs> but still fails to use the larger bolt cutters nearby. What's going on? Uh, oh. Is that not working? What else have we got? Uh, Come on, let's have a look around. Uh, Think about what you're doing. Uh, Put you can uh, on the uh, uh, Number five, number five, out, 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 go! Uh, Jeff's desperate attempt to break the bonds have become a danger to the hostage. And the mission is aborted for a second time. What happened? Still couldn't do the clippers? Yeah. Tried to cut it, wouldn't work. Mm. So I put the pliers on and then I tried to twist it to break the plastic. Mm. Maybe snap his wrists. Right. It's no good having a casualty in there where you've just done their wrists. Right. Mission failure. Break your Take your way to the DS, go. I'm always the first one to put my hand up if I've stuffed up. That's what I've learnt in life. Own your shit. Don't blame anyone else. But I reckon I would feel pretty gutted if I wasn't able to get through the course. Put your respirator on. Next into the lethal gas chamber is number 12, TV personality Anna Heinrich. Oh, 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 oh. 
I'm not afraid to get dirty. I'm not afraid to get hurt. I don't want to play the victim card. I don't want to say, oh, I've just had a baby or I'm a woman or I'm this or I'm that. Like, I want to go in and I want to be just as competitive as everybody else out there. Hello, identified horses, make a plan. Let's get them out of here, quick, quick. Quick as you can. Unable to find anything to cut the hostage free. What have you got? What have you got? <laughs> Number 12 begins to panic. Thank you, Trump. Number 12, number 12. Stand up. Stand up. Calm down. Calm. Calm down. Calm. Number 12. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Stand up by yourself. Take charge of your body. You're in an absolute shit state. You cannot carry on. Yes, stop. Mission fail. Yes, stop. With anyone yet to pass the task. Number seven. Superbikes presenter Rihanna Crean is next to brave the tear gas. Life of a presenter in a motorsport, I wouldn't call glamorous. The pit lane's the rough and tumble. It's noisy, it smells, it's dangerous, and it's a tense situation in usually really crappy conditions. If you're precious, you won't survive in that situation. You're number seven, you know the mission. Make a plan. Have a look around. Ignoring the painful effects of the gas. Quick as you can. Number seven quickly locates the bolt cutters. Quick as you can, number seven. Control yourself. Quick as you can, let's get him out, let's get him out. Go, go, go. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Outstanding effort. Look at me. Stand up, look at me, look at me. Come, on, come walk with me. Brilliant. That was awesome. Well done. You got the job done. That's it. Slowly. Having guts is something I'd like to say that I have. Just hang right here, OK? I'm sorry. This is not coming out of my It's OK. Willing to give something a go, probably a lack of fear. Willing to sort of get down and dirty to, to get the task done. Give it five minutes and it'll all wear off. <laughs> Try and stay standing. You're seeing us at our absolute worst. <coughs> now we see you at your best. <laughs> Come on, number six, hurry up. Number six, Olympic diver Melissa Wu will now attempt the dangerous rescue. I first started diving when I was about 10 years old. I've lived in that box of diving for most of my life. Put your respirator on. And now this is a great opportunity to see what I can do outside of diving. It scares me, it terrifies me, but I'm excited to see what it is that I can do. I am excited to find something within me that I never even knew existed. Go. Okay, number six. Okay, you've had your mission, identify where the hostage is. Okay, let's go. Have a look around, have a look around. But the intense gas is overpowering. Think about what you're doing. <laughs> Get outside. Come on. <laughs> here, come here. Stand up. Oh, shit. Go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Number six. Number six. Number six. Think about what you're doing. It's day nine of selection, and in a harrowing test of courage, each recruit must enter a chamber filled with toxic tear gas to rescue a bound hostage. Have a look around, have a look around. Take it outside, come outside. But as the debilitating gas takes effect. Come here, come here. Shut up. Oh, shit. Doc. Olympic diver Melissa Wu has passed out. Doc. Number six. Number okay, six. roll her on the side. Six. Roll her on the side. Number six. It's okay. 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 Oh. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. So relax. 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 Yes, bro. We're here. We're here. We are here with you. Just breathe. There you go. That's oxygen. That's oxygen. Okay. Just breathe. Nice, slow breaths. Good. Good. It's okay now. What, what happened? What listen, happened? it doesn't matter what happens. Listen. Oh. You just relax. All I want you to do is relax yes, right sir. now, okay? Yes, sir. Don't worry about anything else oh. apart from yourself. Concentrate on your breathing. I'll just get you in a little bit. That's it. We're here. <coughs> got you. Okay. Can you walk with me, do you think? Yes, yes. Oh. Oh. Okay, come with me. Come on, relax, number six. Well done. Thank you, sir. Courage is just about getting knocked down, about failing, but being determined enough to get back up. What happened? Um, I'm not, I mean, I just thought, <coughs> coming out of the room and then I, I don't remember after that, so. Once you're feeling a little better, you come on over here, all right? Mm -hmm. Good to go. Mm -hmm. Why don't we just take you off this and just hang here for just a little yeah. sec? We're in no rush, just, just take your time, take your time. I've never really pushed myself to my limits physically and maybe at times mentally, but not in the same way that this course will test me. And I really want to see what kind of strength I have and to actually draw that out of me. Because I think that finding that is going to help me to achieve great things in the future. You okay, Mel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You need to compose yourself. Mm -hmm. Get in there and get the job done. Yeah, got it. So far, only one recruit, number seven Rihanna, has been controlled enough to complete the hostage rescue. Freeze can then. In the Special Forces, I've stared death in the face. <coughs> I've confronted enemies on the battlefield. I've jumped out of planes into the unknown. Mission fail. Yeah. Everyone has this perception that Special Forces are fearless. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get them out, let's get them out. Go, go, go! And we're not. Mission success, well done. Thank you, Stuff. Courage is the mindset. Let's go! Alright, stop! Go! Good luck for snapping zip ties and plastic off through your hands. Yes, sir. Let's go back in. Courage is accepting fear. Quickly, number 10, let's go! Okay. Get them out, go, go, go! Quickly, can, let's go! Good effort. Mission success, well done but just still taking that, that leap forward. You ready? Yes, sir. Let's go. Courage is not an absence of fear. I'm gonna slow down, let's get him! <laughs> Think about what you're doing. <laughs> Quick as you can. Courage is the mastery of fear. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me and stand up. <laughs> Vision success, well done. Good effort. Well Thank done. Go, move. I've had nothing but obstacles. I've had people punch me, hit me, put me down, you know, try and keep me down. You know, didn't want me to succeed. And I've succeeded in the face of all of them. And it's every time I uh, get defeated, I only get stronger. <sighs> Let's go, number 15. With three more recruits now passing the task, NRLW player Millie Boyle is last to attempt the hellish hostage rescue. One of my fears is probably just not feeling like I'm good enough. If you know you could have done better or you're not doing something to your standard, then that's, you know, it's embarrassing. Let's go. Whether it's losing a game on the footy field or not being there for someone, that's what really disappoints me and can really bring me down. OK, where are you going? Where are you going, number 15? Identify the hostages, make a quick assessment, go. They need to help them. We do, you can't do it with your eyes closed, number 15. You can't do it with your eyes closed. <coughs> have a look around, have a look around. <coughs> Get them out of it. Unable to push past the agonising side effects. <coughs> number 15, help. Dia Stotty aborts Millie's rescue attempt. Stand up, stand up, sir. Calm yourself down, I've got you. Calm yourself down, that's it. Calm, 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 calm yourself down. I've got you, I've got you. Look at me. 
I'm not going to send you back in there. If you went back in there, <laughs> so you'd be on the floor with the hostage, wouldn't you? Yes. Right, slowly walk over to the DS. <laughs> I've always had other people to be accountable for. <sighs> whether that's my family or whether that's playing sport, you're constantly trying to be brave and to be strong. Go, let's go. But it definitely takes its toll mentally, you know, if things just aren't going right. Oh, my God. Well done, guys. It's heartache. Feeling, like, so weak, you know what I mean? As the recruits decontaminate from the toxic gas exposure... Hey, <laughs> Number 15, Millie, struggles with her failure. <laughs> I just got in the room. I didn't even, like, assess it. I just went to the hostage, and I'm like, it's take nine, and it's so good. You are right? Some things you're good at, some things you smoke at in. Yeah. Other things that other people have got different strengths, all right? Don't stress. You know what, you're having a moment like it's all hard with all being like, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just... You know, it's really good. Okay. Oh, you're killing so it. I'm I may take some things a bit personal and get quite upset especially under fatigue and under, you know, when you're away from home, away from everything you know, then you're not feeling the best and you've still got to turn up and be there and do what they say. I'm quite vulnerable and uh, quite emotional and I'll take that to heart quite a lot. Coming up, ah! a torturous new task. Ah! Number two! What the f are you doing? Oh. Leads to a real life lesson from the battlefield. Read those names out loud. The whole goal is for the casualty to never end up on one of these. Matt Mills, Matt Mason, Lou Langlois, Jonas Kelso. It really brings a <laughs> hope. Oh, here we go. After the morning's intense hostage rescue, the DS meet to debrief on the recruit's performance. Now we've got a good core group here. Stotty, over to you. Yeah, number 15. Yeah, she was struggling. She's hard on herself, you know, after yeah. that she was gutted. But, you know, she's learning. That's yeah. all we can do, as long as, as long as they stay on that learning curve. Yeah. Number six. She did take quite a bang, which did worry me. Well, we've seen people on this course that would have used that as an excuse to go. Yeah. Right. She took yeah. a big hit and yeah. she got back up. That didn't affect her. Straight back up on her feet. Good to go. No, she's a unit. Number seven, straight in, bolt croppers out. She was salivating all over the floor on the foot, right? She might have to go soon, but it was a pass. She, she got him out. She hated every minute of that, every minute of it. But she figured it out straight away. That, yeah. that alone, mm. it's just like, wow. Yeah, let's get her in front of us. Let's do it. Do it. Number seven. Calm under pressure and having passed the task, the DS want to know more about Rihanna. First question I've got for you, where do you see yourself in the pecking order of this course? Not up the top with those the strong boys, but I definitely don't think I'm one of the weaker people. As you, you see, it's not all about strength. You know, it's the mental as well. And you know, this is where the females tend to do very well, actually, over the men. Obviously the boys are strong and they're, they're always gonna be stronger than us, but us girls are really trying to hang in as much as we can and, you know, Fly the flag. Today wasn't easy. Everyone will have their ups and downs, their strengths and weaknesses. Who are you, number seven? Tell us a bit more about number seven. Um, I think I'm just a pretty normal person that has a cool job. I work as a TV presenter for a motorsport 
industry I've done for 10 or 12 years. Um, I come from a good family in Perth. You married? I'm married, yes. Kids? No kids. Two dogs. And your parents are still in Perth? My mum is still there. My dad passed away last year. Sorry. So I don't apologise. Was that sudden? Very sudden. Very sudden and very unexpected. Um, my mum found him unconscious on the couch in the lounge room. And that was it. My biggest regret is I shouldn't have called my mum that night. Because when we hung up, listen, when she walked out and found him. If I wasn't on the phone to her, she probably would have stepped outside sooner. And I think about that all the time. Big part of your life, your father? He was. We're a very close family. They speak, you know, almost daily. Is he in your, in your thoughts on this course? Yeah, every day. And I'll tell you what, him looking down will be proud of you. Thank you. You've really started to be one of those faces that we're starting to pay attention to as, you know, a good runner for this course. Thank you. My dad was a real character. He did everything 110% and did lots of adventures and I want to make sure that I, you know, live my life the way he lived his, that's for sure. What do you want to achieve on the course? What's your motivator? I like to, I like to challenge myself, um, but also last year was a really difficult year personally and professionally for me. There was periods when I was pretty low. <laughs> I lost my job and because of COVID and my husband lost his job because of COVID and then my dad died, so it felt like we sort of got kicked in the teeth a little bit. Um, it really just makes you mm. reassess, you know, what you're doing and, you know, the people that are close to you and just making the most of any opportunity and my dad was that kind of person and he certainly would be loving this. It was right up his alley. Is there anything you want to find from your inner self on this course? Definitely, I, I probably don't give myself enough credit and think that I can't do things. But I think I've certainly learnt um, the last couple of days that I can do some pretty crazy things. <laughs> <laughs> we can both speak from experience here that this course changes you. So all I'll say to you is, you, you know, like, just take every day, take what you can, absorb it. I think you're doing very well with self-doubt. OK, you, you'll get over that. As each day goes on, you get more and more confident, and then that will sort of diminish away. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep that flag flying for the females. Guard! <laughs> When I'm scared and uncomfortable, I'll be trying to use the strength that I know my dad um, would know that I have. I certainly draw on his energy. He was really strong. And I hope that I can just make him proud. All right, guys, positive spirit. Yeah. Do it. As the oldest recruit left on the course, number two Paulie rests before the next onslaught. The only thing that will fail me is my body, you know? My mind will not fail. I'm older than a lot of the people, so that's a disadvantage. Hopefully all the bits on my body can kind of weather the storm. Let's do it. Get it, you wagons, let's go! Move, let's go! I can't believe Melfool passed out. It, like, it's harder and harder as your body gets tighter and tired. Totally. Still reeling from the tear gassing. Go, Bergen's on! 
the recruits trek into remote bushland. Let's go number six, close it up. Where their courage and leadership will be tested in the harsh environment. Do as you can then. This is gonna suck. The most physically arduous task on a battlefield is a casualty evacuation. Transporting a casualty from the combat zone into a safe area where you could potentially get a helicopter in. In a life or death scenario, two teams must each carry their casualty on a stretcher eight kilometers through unforgiving terrain to reach an evacuation point within two hours. Okay, Team Alpha, you'll dress over to my left. Team Leader for Team Alpha is number 12. Team Leader for Bravo is 15. Any time on operations you can have a casualty, whether it's a casualty from the enemy or a casualty from the elements. Our recruits need to be able to get that casualty into a safe location so they can administer first aid and continue with their operation. Pick your stretches up then. One, two, three. Go. Best stay on my heels, otherwise this casualty is gonna die. Okay, let's go. Right. You know what happens if you miss the RV window? I've had to help move a body across horrible terrain. One that died and one that lived, and it's a nightmare, but it's the most important mission you'll ever do. Straight through, straight through. Because that person laying there is your buddy, and that buddy has parents, that buddy has brothers and sisters, and uh, there's so much that is all of a sudden in your hands, literally and you're the one that's got to pull it off. There's a tree stump. Watch out, watch out. Watch out, watch out, obstacle. Number two. Why are you pulling that out? If you see something in the way, call it. With Ebony, Paulie, and Lockie under her command, Team Bravo leader Millie needs redemption from her failure in the previous task. Nice work at the front. In footy, yeah, I guess you're kind of leading from the front. I'll take it, guys, and I'll go this way. You guys take a breath. To the left, to the left. Watch out, there's a stick here. And I know that if I do everything right, that oh, sets sorry. the platform for other people on my team as well, so that can hopefully contribute to a win. You've got a casualty to stop moving. <sighs> ah, I need to pull up. Come on, guys. Don't go there too much. Don't go there too much. Left, left. Go this way. Don't... Alpha leader Anna must also atone for her earlier failure. Guys, I need to... I need to swap soon. I need to Keep swap talking. soon. Guys, can you listen to me? Yes, I need to swap sides. Swap, swap. Come on. But with Come on. uneven Stop. numbers, Team Alpha has less hands to carry the load. I don't know if I'm a leader. I kind of like following order and rules and authority. Come on, guys. Loosen the <laughs> right. Bergen. So there are going to be tasks on the course that are going to push me so far out of my comfort zone. I don't know until I'm in there whether or not I'll really be able to do it. Pick a straight line and go for it. You're like a pissed bloke on a Saturday night. Is everyone good at the front? Enemy on your heels. Let's get it moving now. See, guys, that's it. Pushing hard. Millie's team Bravo brave the harsh elements. Follow my route. Watch this side, this side. Two, get up. But the rocky, uneven ground. Two, come on. Pull your weight. And weight of the stretcher is wearing down the weaker recruits. When I'm given a challenge, I go all out. I've climbed mountains and I've run with the bulls. If that's not courage, I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I'm worried about is just, you know, will this body meet the challenge? That's the only thing. Come on, you're actually catching up with him. And as time ticks away to reach the RV and save the casualty... Go now, go now, go now. Keep them high, keep them high. The terrain and deep water makes everything harder. That route is not possible. Just get him up on the high ground now, quick! Back out, back out, back out! Get him up there, quick! Watch out for your casualty. Two, get your ass up off this way. Ground. Number two, what the f are you doing? Number 15, take charge of this. I've got it, I've got it. Move. Step up, step up. Get away. On the battlefield, 
Your weakness could be putting a life at risk. We want to see how you deal with your weaknesses. Come on, get in the game, dude. Once again, you got your backpack on like some slouch. What's wrong with you, number two? Number two! You're being dragged! Okay, I'm good. No, you're not good! You are useless right now. Number two, look, look at me. Look at me, hold your head up right now. Get the job done. I'm sorry, Stuff. Watch out for your casualty. Ah! Ah! Shit, sorry, I had a two. What the f are you doing? Number 15, take charge of this. I've got it, I've got it. Split into two teams. Each are racing the clock through harsh bushland. That is a casualty that you've got there. Don't flick him, don't flick him. To reach an evacuation point and save their casualty's life. Come on. As Millie's team Bravo struggles against the terrain. Keep communicating, keep communicating. You're doing good. I've got her. Teammate number two, Paulie. Push through it, 15. You got this. Is exhausted. Number two, look, look at me. I'm sorry, Stealth. I'm too unfit for this stuff. I'm sorry. I'm too unfit. I'm gonna let these guys down. I'm sorry, Stealth. You sure you want to do this? I like to think that I'm the person that, you know, if you really needed them at that moment, would come through and other people, I've always tried to look after them, you know. Sorry, Stealth. Don't be sorry. Listen, look at me. Do not be sorry. You've come a long way. This is a bridge too far for you. We've got a long time to go now, a long time to go. And do you know what? You've done the right thing. If someone is holding up the team, they've got to go. Head held high for this. Right choice, right time. Well done. To make that decision takes huge integrity. A selfless person that puts the mission and their team before themselves. And that is a huge positive trait to have. Can't keep up with those bloody athletes, mate. Comedian Paulie Finnick is the ninth recruit to voluntarily withdraw from the course. Ah! Stay together. Ah! To the right, to my right, come right. Ah! Bravo is now a man down, ah! and both teams are heavily fatigued. Ah! Watch out, watch out. Oh, God. Oh. Number five, oh. what's the point in taking the casualty out if you're going to injure her mm. on the way to the RV? Ah. The recruits are tired. They feel beat up, broken, injured. Mm. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Come on, you got to get oh, back God. up. It's a culmination of this sucks. Hey, grab her, grab her, grab her. I've been back in there. Move. Let's go, let's go. Move. You got it. That's it. Let's okay. get your breath. Don't let him get breath. Look at that water. You guys are almost there. As time slips away, Team Bravo reached the river crossing with the evacuation point on the other side. Lift your feet. Do not drop the casualty. Smooth as fast. Slow. Slow as smooth. Get up, get up, get up, one. Get up, one. Come on, one. Go. As exhaustion and the elements work against getting the casualty to safety. Here we go. Get on your get on your bar. It's right. Okay, Mills, we got this. You got it? Yeah. Leader Millie must push her. herself and her team across the rapidly moving water. Ah, that's it, number 15. That's it. I think I have guts, yeah. I guess that's what you get on a footy field. Easy, you it's got so it. It's so heavy. Got it. It's so heavy. Once you get past that initial stage of fear, you get that buzz and that adrenaline and playing in a team, you know, you have to have that mindset, having enough courage and strength not to quit. Let's go. No, 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 no. You go. Stay with it. You're good. You go. You're good. You got it. It's a very temperamental place to be. Slide. Slide across the rocks. Easy. Whether it's the current pushing against you, whether it's your footing on slippery rocks, you have a lot of things working against you. But casual evac is the most important mission you'll ever do. Go straight, go straight. Go straight. Go straight. That guy or gal in the stretcher is relying 100% on you to just do your job and get them help. Oh, 
barely functioning and on the brink of collapse. Billy's team brother complete the mission with only minutes to spare. That's it, that's it. Hold that's it, hold it. Bergen's it. down. <laughs> You're in there, 15. Good job. <laughs> you were amazing. You were amazing as leader. You were so good. You know how they, they say when you get that look? You looked at me and I was like, that got me another 100 meters. Hey, but on a serious note, this is without a doubt the most important thing you could ever do, right? And for a, take this moment before they get here and read those names out loud. The whole goal is for the casualty to never end up on one of these, on a metal band on someone's wrist. The only easy day was yesterday. Dave Scott, Jason Lewis, Jason Freewold, Gus Kaminsky, Matt Mills, Matt Mason, Lou Langlass, Jonas Kelsall, Glenn Doherty, and Ty Woods, 19th of December, 94 to the 19th of December, 2014. That's all I could fit on that thing. Thank you for sharing that with Thank us. Thank you. Probably one of the most gut-wrenching things is having to put on your uniform and go to that door. <clears throat> having to tell that wife and those kids that uh, their dad was gone. It really brings a heart. <laughs> and the reason you do this stuff is so that you get it. You know, like it's it's a big deal. You know, to uh, to get somebody to safety. Yeah, far out. Get some water going. As Millie's team Bravo recover the RV. Come on. Come on. Go together. Careful. He's slippery. Anna's Team Alpha attempt to cross the river and get their casualty to safety. I'm trying to Okay, okay. With time very much against them. Halfway. You are at your most vulnerable step, right step. now. Take charge of your team. You have a lot of unknowns beneath that water. It can be three feet, one second, drop to six feet, just in one step. And now you're drowning. You know, you're a casualty. Get up! Get the f up! I can't get up! Get that casualty out of the water! I can't get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Ah. Number 12, you get a grip. The whole team's starting to fall apart. Back in! Let's go. Hold on, mate. I'm gonna put it in my bag. Wait! Hang on, wait! Wait, wait, wait! You are useless, number 12. You quit just towards the end. I don't like to disappoint people, and I don't want to disappoint the DS. <laughs> Knowing that I've done something wrong and that that was in my control, I probably will feel shame that I wasn't able to do uh, the best that I can. Let's go. Wide steps, short steps. Let's go. Flailing under Anna's leadership, Number eight, Darius, takes control of the team. Keep pushing. Draw a turn paint. <laughs> come on, Jeff. Come on, come on, you got Go on. Come on. You can do this, you can do this, you can do this. We're nearly there. Go. But the last minute rally come on. has come too late. <sighs> At least finish this with a bit of pride. Casualty's dead anyway. OK, stop there, then. We don't really want to see you smash it. We want to see you not give up. No matter how much you're hurting, how tired you are, can you still put one foot in front of the other? Good effort, this team. Outstanding. Good driving horse. Good communications. <laughs> Good grit and determination. Good shit shit. This is what it all boils down to. The most important piece of equipment that you will ever have in your hands. 
someone's life. A lot of people are defeated with things that they deem impossible. We're looking for people who can find a solution to the impossible and believe it that much that they will give the ultimate sacrifice to get the job done. Hold on. Mills. We're here. So, nice. so, remember? All he's yep. at now? Is he? Mills is <laughs> like... Redemption! The heart of See? Every time. Killed See? it. Oh my um, god, you're a legend. How did uh, Jeff... Jeff and Anna go? Oh. Jeff, he's just gassed. Like, yeah. He's, yeah. He'd be a strong guy, but he's just got no... No, no, no endurance. No. Poor Anna, she just copped Oh my god. Oh. Absolute. But, Try your hardest, mate. We all did. It was so emotional. Like we obviously pushed so hard and tried so hard. We were at the end by then. We hadn't like really nothing left. You know what I mean? Hey, you did a good job. I cried because of just the exertion. Yeah. Like it was so hard. You know. I have my days where I just feel like I'm not good enough or I can't achieve something, and I hate that negative side of me. It's definitely held me back, and there's days where it's worse than others. Recruits yet to return. Comedian Paulie Fennick prepares to leave after nine backbreaking days in the course. <laughs> Fool. Absolutely brilliant, my friend. Hey, man, thank you so much. Class act, mate. Class act. You're a top bloke, man. Honestly, and when I say you're one of the toughest recruits we've ever had, I mean that. You can take some shots and you just keep getting back up, back up. But then it gets to a stage of the course where it's just like, you know what? I didn't, I didn't want to people around. Mm. And I, look, I got a lot of great fitness, but the endurance I don't have. So I just, yeah. you know, just to be honest with myself, man. Yeah. yeah, but that's the thing about it is you can be honest with yourself like you have and leave with your head held high. I know myself and my own weaknesses and strengths. I try my best. You know, I probably come off like I'm real confident, but I've had that many losses and I've learned so much from them. I'm proud of myself that I, I didn't f sort of uh, become a, a sad, kind of defeated person. You can tell that you come from humble beginnings, that you've worked your way to where you are because the resilience shows. You know, life is shit, we fail. People go for you, people try and knock you down, people will knock you down. But then you just get back up and go again. And you've got to tell me, I must be the only person who's ever done some nudie runs on... Uh... Do you know what? You are the perfect commando, Paul. <laughs> must be hung like an Afghan yak. Or not. But it's been a pleasure having you on the course, Paul. Mate, the compliments back at you, man. You're a legend and all you had a voice. You get home, see your family, get some rest, and I'll see you on the outside. I will do, my God, kiss that head. <laughs> <laughs> No, I feel fantastic. It was, a, it was a great experience. Uh, just a little bit too old and probably not quite fit enough. I guess the only thing I regret is I clash with some people. Who, what's the point of talking to a dickhead who won't make the peace? I think uh, probably I'm too much of an individual uh, for some of the team kind of efforts. And I didn't really expect that having to be team orientated was so important in this because I've always been a bit of a lone wolf, so it didn't really work in my favour. But, you know, that's just me, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, for an old dog, I go all right, you know? <laughs>